And so I arrived in Quito in the pouring rain. And the taxi driver who has taken me from the station to the hotel very kindly told me how nice the weather had been over the last few days. But now that it was raining, it was likely to rain for the next three or four days. And I only had one full day in Quito, which would be the next day, and until four o'clock on the day after. I had arranged to be picked up at the hotel at 6am in the morning to be taken outside the city to a nature reserve where I'd be able to see a lot of the local bird species. And as you can see, the rain had gone and it was a lovely sunny morning. Masked flower piercer, shiny sunbeam, buff winged star frontlet, glossy flower piercer, yellow breasted brush finch, great sapphire wing. Scarlet breasted mountain tanager, Andean guan, black breasted buzzard eagle. Great Brow Brushfinch Sword Build Hummingbird Late morning and we returned to Quito and called in at the Equator Museum, a most fascinating place with exhibits on the Inca civilization and how they knew where the equator was. And then you could stand actually on the equator with one foot in the southern hemisphere and one in the north. And there were various experiments on the way water went down a plug hole. They go straight. They don't spin either side. Now we are going to the south, yeah, yeah. and then we go this way, which is clockwise, right? Clockwise, yeah. yeah. You can see the sun makes it very easy to see. Uh huh. Yeah. Is what you see in your home, right? Clockwise. Two more birds we saw: the sparkling violet ear and the golden grosbeak. We then drove into the city centre, straight to the main square, the Grand Plaza, surrounded by colonial buildings. The old cathedral, council offices, the presidential palace and seat of government, inside one of the shopping malls and round the corner the cultural centre. The tower of the old cathedral with the towers of the new cathedral in the background. The Church of the Society of Jesus is worth a visit. Its gold inside is stunning. But unfortunately, 
you cannot take photographs. This is a photograph I found on the internet which did state it was copyright free. The Church of St Francis A huge statue of the Virgin Mary The new cathedral, which brings us to the end of my first day in Quito. I had until 4pm the next day before I would be picked up to be taken to the airport. And I decided to go on the Telerifico cable car, up to 4,050 metres overlooking the whole city. Have a swing over the edge. After that, there was still time for me to explore the botanical garden. This is my last photo in Quito and you can just see the top of the mountain that I've been up that morning. So it's goodbye to Ecuador and the next video will be in Peru.